Welcome to the Neuro Ophthalmology Reading Center training video for OCT acquisition using the Heidelberg Spectralis. This video is part of the Neuro Ophthalmology Reading Center training suite and should be used alongside the standard of procedure documents and clinical research forms for your study. Room and device setup. Alongside standard equipment cleaning procedure, it is important to ensure that the lens is free from dust and other contaminants. After removing the lens from the camera head, use a clean lens cloth to gently polish both sides of the lens. Do not use alcohol wipes or other chemical cleaners. As all identifiable patient data will be removed during the file export process, standard patient demographic details should be entered. Select the first imaging protocol before setting up the patient. Patient Setup before instructing the patient to place their chin on the rest, set the table height slightly lower. This will encourage the patient's forehead to rest naturally against the bar, reducing the likelihood of incidental head movement during the scan. The headrest has a red marker to assist with the positioning of the patient's eye. The outer canthus of the eye is best placed just below this marker to give the best range of camera head adjustment. When using the internal fixation target, the patient should fix on the target with the eye under examination. The target position will automatically be adjusted depending on the protocol selected. If the patient is unable to fix with the eye being imaged, the external fixation target should be shown to the neighbouring eye and adjusted until the desired structure is clearly visible in the capture window. If the patient is unable to fix with either eye, encourage the patient to look straight ahead as best they are able. Rotate the camera head along the x-axis, pointing the lens towards the desired position. High refractive error can create issues with peripheral loss of the infrared image when bringing the OCT image into view. Using the axial length adjustment settings can alleviate this issue. For example, imaging high myopes may be improved by using the long or extra long axial length setting. Considerations for RNFL Remember to adjust the focus so that the vessels peripheral to the disc are in focus and not the disc itself. This will ensure that the base membrane is clearly defined in the resulting OCT scan. This is an important factor when resegmenting images in cases of papilledema. It is vital to align the baseline scan correctly as this will determine the scan position for all subsequent images. The inner circle of the scan ring should be equidistant from the edges of the disc in the inferior, superior, nasal and temporal positions. Be aware that when adjusting the scan position, the OCT image becomes live whilst the scan is being moved to the correct location. As such, it is important to retain control over the joystick to ensure the OCT image does not move out of alignment. When capturing the RNFL, the image should be allowed to reach an ART of 100 frames for maximum clarity. Considerations for posterior pole. When retinal tracking has been engaged, the scan line should be adjusted to cut directly through the centre of the fovea, with the nasal end of the scan line positioned at the centre of the disc. Before individual layer analysis can be performed, the image must be fully segmented. All images in the time series must be segmented in order to perform comparative layer analysis. It is best practice to do this immediately following capture, but can be done at any time. For full instructions relating to trial-specific image analysis requirements, please refer to the study protocol. Considerations for the disk volume scan. Where a customized scan is required, you may find it beneficial to create a custom scan protocol within Heidelberg Eye Explorer. To do this, before image capture, set your desired scan parameters as usual, then left-click and hold one of the custom scan buttons. You can then add a customized label. In this case, we've used IIH1 and save this for quick access in the future. Be aware that when scanning a patient with significant papilledema, it is vital to continually adjust the position of the camera to accommodate the increasing size of the OCT image. This is to ensure that the top of the OCT image is not cut off, hence losing the data required to determine peak height of the disc. For full details on all aspects of OCT capture and processing, please refer to the Trial Manual of Procedures for the Neuro Ophthalmology Reading Centre.